Another equipment which I really really like and I sh share it with my uh, clients and anyone who's interested in whenever I get a request from which type of grooming equipment I recommend for home grooming, the basics at least, this guy is on the list. It's a rounded tip shear with finger rest. <clears throat> so the thing I really like this guy is it's because it's sharp enough to cut the hair, but it's not sharp enough to hurt your dog. You really, really have to try <laughs> to hurt the doodle with this. So you can um, learn as you go without causing too much damage. Of course, I always suggest to, to check out the tutorial video before using any kind of grooming equipment. So I'm going to include a link to my Doodle Grooming Basics tutorial video series down below along with uh, the link to the um, shear, which you can get on Amazon for like seven bucks. So it's one of the cheapest investments. It's way cheaper than the brush and the comb. <clears throat> so this guy is amazing for trimming the hair around the eyes, around the lips, spa hair, sanitary area. So you can do a lot of things with a brush, a comb, and a piece of shear like this guy is <clears throat> at home. So for example, whenever it comes to the eye area, I really like to keep the hair away because that's gonna give the doggy so much comfort, especially around summertime when they're gonna go wild in the water. Having all those bangs in front of their eyes, they can freak out whenever they jump in the water and all the hair gets wet and heavy and it's, it ends up in right in front of the eyes and they no wonder they don't like the water. So I really like to trim the eye area with these guys. For heavier trims, not just the corner of the eye, but for heavier trims I use thinning shears on the bangs, but that's another video. But for major thing, uh, length trims from the sides in front of the eyes, this guy will totally do it for you at home if you are willing to try and teach your will to stay still for doing it. So one thing I really like this guy is for eye, um, eye rear trim. The other one is paw hair. Many, many doodles get so much hair um, in between the um, toe pads and between the paw pad and the toe pads that it gets matted when it gets wet and the dog licks and it gets um, mud stuck in there and then it dries. So it's really misery, let alone sticker birds getting stuck in there summertime. So it can be really bothersome. And that's why I'd like to trim the hair nice and short um, around the paws in between the toe pads and paw pad. So there are other things um, in there which can, I call them uh, pop at boomerangs because they, the hair gets matted in there and it looks like a, a banana or boomerang shape and they come back whenever the hair grows. So the thing I do, I like to trim the hair around there with this shear to make sure that the hair is short there so they're not gonna develop pop at boomerangs at all. <clears throat> Another thing I really like to, them to, um, I really like to use them too is uh, trimming out the hair the matted hair between the toes. I call them toe mohacks. We're gonna talk about these guys. And I'm gonna show you a few samples I got from my clients. So I really like to trim out uh, toe mohacks from uh, between the toes whenever they get um, matted due to water or running uh, or swimming and or licks and chews around the paws. They can be so much misery. So I trim those guys out with this shear. Another thing I really like this guy to do is do the center trim around the privates. <clears throat> and uh, you can do it at home with the shear. Oftentimes I just use it around the butt area and I should just short shave the uh, privates for males and uh, females as well. But you can totally do a center trim with this one. It's a little bit more um, time consuming than doing it with clippers, but you totally can do it and you can do 100% perfect job with these. So that's another tutorial video in the Doodle Grooming Basics tutorial video series. So if you want to check it out, you totally can. And I'm going to include the link. So if you want to get it, you can do on Amazon. They have it on Prime sale. So it's going to be something around five or seven dollars. I can't remember. Sometimes they change the price. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.